So today we're going to take a look at how FaZe managed to defeat Sentinels and FaZe actually went on to beat TSM as well and qualify for the group stages of the qualifiers and uh, congratulations to them but for Sentinels obviously this is kind of a big problem and obviously if you are a Sentinels fan and you're kind of used to them not just you know being competitive but you know dominating in NA obviously uh, for a large part of uh, 2021 then this is obviously a big shock that you know that they're, they're you know struggling to even get through open qualifiers at this point uh you know that is a is a bit of a worrying sign if you're wanting sentinels to not just be like you know a good competitive team but want them to be the the best team potentially in the world you know it seems like they are quite a way off that um and we'll take a look at haven and we'll start with sentinels attacking side and uh for me you know sentinels have always struggled more on the attacking side you know, you need kind of a bit more maybe teamwork on the attacking side. Things have to be well-timed and things like that. And that's something that Sentinels have always struggled with. But we'll start with round number four here. And we'll just take a look at some of the problems they might have. And so in this round, it's actually going to start perfectly fine. They send in the, the KO knife down here in short. That's going to suppress the chamber. They put this omen smoke here to stop any peaks from long. So they take early A control. And that's absolutely Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Everything's going well so far. Then we get that Omen TP. You might have just seen into that corner. And then they get the Silver Dart. And they destroy it though before Tens gets seen. But the thing is, I actually think Tens kind of gets baited a bit here. Because normally when an Omen TPs, it is into like this uh, little cubby there. And so I think that's why Baby Bay is shooting here. And so Tens is actually going to die because of that. I, I'm not certain that that is the case. But I, I have a pretty good idea it might be the case. That that's why Baby Bay is doing that. And then Dicey is able to kill Dapper as well. And this is just another thing, right? They've suppressed the chamber in short. So they do know it's a, a real possibility that the chamber could be there. Um, but obviously everyone's focusing on, on how Tens died. And no one is, is really looking at that. And so Dapper uh, gets killed. Nice shot by Dicey though. But then the real problem is about to start because Shazam is actually about to drone from here, right? Which is just another thing like, you know, Dapper is, is peeking before that drone, you know, and, and, and we're about to see that happen again because what's about to happen is Sick is about to peek before this drone as well. Try and trade it out, uh, but he's too late. And so he dies as well. And all of a sudden you're in this 5v2. The round is completely lost and uh, it, and it's problems for Sentinels, right? The, I mean, this is something they actually normally are pretty good at, you know, trading kills and things like that. But in this instance, I don't think a single bullet was fired to try and trade. It was kill, 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 you know, which is far too slow to try and trade anyone. You know, they, they're given time to, to readjust their aim and, and find that next kill, as we saw. And uh, as I said, this is normally something that Sentinels are actually pretty good at. Now, as we run this round forward, nothing spectacular is going to happen. They're going to find a couple kills. Uh, nice trade from FaZe, but then they get that one. But then Baby Bay is able to finish it off. And now let's come to the very next round. And in this round, what we're going to see is uh, we've popped uh, the KO ult. We've come down to A. Actually, FaZe started with just one player on A, which was the Silver, who obviously retreated, uh, fearing the worst. And so Sentinels are going to find themselves into a free site. There was a stack from FaZe on C. And so you can see they've got a bit aggressive and pushed down C long as well. And these two players are going to come onto the flank. And so Sentinels just get into the site uh, completely for free. You know, the, the site is theirs. Obviously, with the KO ult, that helps as well. And so they're feeling pretty good about now these two players are the ones that we have to watch though uh, because again we're going to see I always mention this anytime you see a chamber that they always cost you because we get a smoke there the jet just put this smoke down and so the chamber trap isn't going to see that anyone is coming on the flank okay so that's going to happen and those two players are going to be able to sneak past that chamber trap and, uh, and and sneak up and so Shazam here you know, he might have heard the jet smoke. I'm not really sure, uh, but he probably doesn't expect people to be this pushed up because he dies to Dicey and Daffer also isn't expecting people to be that pushed up. And so he isn't able to get the trade either. So Sentinels now are in a bit of a problem because obviously we're getting the pinch from uh, behind, you know, and these players can now come in two directions. And obviously there's the coming from potentially all four directions here, which is obviously a big, big problem. Um, and so they come up with a plan and uh, this is probably, you know, one of the right choices. They decide to three of the players are going to group up and they're going to try and push out here. OK, the problem is, though, that uh, they try and flash it. Perfect idea again, but they flash Kampeki, but they still go with it. And so Kampeki just dies. And then Sick is, you know, he was the one flashing, so he's a bit behind. And so then he dies. And then Dapper just decided that he didn't want any part of that. I don't really know why, but he just stayed back here the whole time. And so now Dapper is in a terrible situation uh, and he, too, is going to die. And so you see, they had like the right idea, but again, the execution just isn't quite there. And despite Tens, you know, really trying his best and doing quite well overall here, uh, he is ultimately going to fall and uh, and they're going to be able to defuse the spike. 
So now let's come to round number eight, and we're about to see Sentinels just execute full team onto the site. And this is something that they have always struggled with, is these kind of big, you know, executes onto a site. That's always something that they haven't been great at. And so let's take a look at this one. It starts off actually pretty well. Uh, you know, they're going to drone off first. They uh, find Baby Bay. They push him off uh, that top angle, and uh, it's going to start perfectly fine because we get this KO knife onto the middle box here. The smokes are going down from Omen. You can see just there as well. Um, and then we get this dark in from the Sova, we're going to get a flash as well, as you can see Superman gets flashed by that as well, and we get this Omen all into the back of the site. The problem that they're going to have here though, is Tens isn't going to dash into the site, you know, and use the smoke and whatever, uh, he's just actually going to walk in, and I think the reason that they do that is because they expect that this omen ult will be, you know, the kind of space creation that they've already got one player deep into the site, so there's no need for you, you know, to dash in either, you know, save the dash for when you might need it later. Um, and, uh, but this dart is going to ping Tens because of that, and that's going to cost Tens his life. Uh, they also here have Dapper, you know, just holding deep. I don't know if this is just because, you know, they'd been caught out on the flank before, and so they just don't trust these chamber traps. If that is the case, then just don't pick chamber. Um, and uh, so we end up in this kind of weird situation though, because what's about to happen is this Omenal is actually going to die and Six going to end up coming back here. And so you can see that when that happens, we actually end up basically with a 2v3. You know, Shazam has had to dart, so he's pretty far back. They have Dapper all the way back here. And once this Omenal dies, he's going to be all the way back here as well. And that is a big, big problem for them because uh, that is going to cost them this round pretty much as we run it forward. So you can see the Omenal dies there. Tens gets pinged. He dies. Kenpeki just walks through the smoke on his own. And now they've lost the spike behind that smoke and all three players are just miles away from it and they've just retreated, okay? And that's kind of just part of the problem with some of these executes is it felt like this execute was built very much on the fact that that Omenal would survive, which, let's face it, from where it was, that's quite an ambitious play, I would say. And as we run this forward, Dicey's just going to find a couple and eventually they're going to find these kills. But yeah, it seemed like a very ambitious plan overall that was somewhat reliant on the fact that Sick would be able to, you know, stick that ult and there would be so much chaos going on on site that no one would notice. But then as soon as they killed that Omen ult, it was basically just a 2v3 with you know no real emphasis behind uh, a push there and so they end up just getting slaughtered like fish in a barrel and now let's come to the very next round and we're going to see something pretty horrific in this one again it starts off pretty well i'll be honest this is quite a nice execute on the whole they've got the silver drone that you might have just saw there uh, that's going down c long and uh, they've got this time they do just you know fully group up and they're going to come through garage and the silver is going to ult whilst they are doing that so this 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 execute is actually pretty good from sentinels to be honest on the whole uh as we're about to see because what we're gonna get is they smoke off garage window you see they get into this position here tens is gonna smoke he is gonna dash in this time and uh, they're gonna dart at the same time then comes in the silver roll as you see so it all is actually pretty good and uh well they do start finding these kills poised is able to get two but they managed to get the trade so they have the site now or at least most of the site enough to plant and it's in a 3v3 and sick here is about to as you can see flash down here Again, perfectly fine to try and get them out of this smoke. Uh, wonderful idea. But then Sick is going to make an absolute... I, I honestly have no idea what he's doing. Uh, because what's going to happen is Tens decides to hold back this angle here. So Tens is holding for it when they come across here. But for whatever reason, and I really cannot understand this at all. Because at this point, now that Tens is in this spot, you can just plant the spike. Okay? Sick just goes running at them on his own. He doesn't know how many people are there. He doesn't know, you know, what he's running into. He isn't on full HP either. He just, and he has the spike. But he is going to make that choice to just run out at them and die. It's absolutely mind-boggling. Tens is able to get one, but then gets traded. And now Shazam, you know, had they just planted the spike, Shazam would have been in a good spot. But instead, now he's in this 1v2 difficult situation for him. And uh, he is actually able to uh, find the first kill. Uh, but then he is ultimately going to get traded out. So here we go. He is going to find that first one darts onto the site you know it's a very difficult position because you know they now know where he is but he doesn't know where they are and so dicey's able to get that final kill but what sick was doing there i honestly have no idea 
But while Sentinel's attack side can really struggle, their defensive side overall is still pretty good on most maps. And uh, they showed it here as well because they ended up 12-7 down, but they ended up making a game of it and winning the next four rounds to take it to 12-11 uh, uh, and almost force overtime. So let's take a look at uh, one of their better defensive rounds here. And it starts off uh, with this. And as I said, they're 12-7 down, so they have to win every round from now on. They don't even have that great uh, weapons at this point. And you can see that uh, Dapper there gets pushed up. Now, one little small note for dapper maybe he's not super ultra you know ready on chamber yet he still needs to put in a couple more hours but obviously if he's pushed up into this position could he recall this teleporter or at least you know one of them and maybe put one down obviously this is a bit of a one and done angle i don't really see how you know if multiple people came down here you know it would be quite spectacular with expected to get like you know two or three kills whereas he could very easily get one and maybe tp out but that's just a small little note uh, because as we run this forward, actually what's going to happen is FaZe are going to go into a garage play. They're going to go for a bit of a C-split here. So you can see they dog into garage uh, and uh, they destroy the chamber trap and uh, they're ready to go. And actually, Sentinels have a pretty good uh, setup going on here. They have Sick uh, in this uh, very odd angle that he's... A able to be in because Dapper has uh, pushed up there. So he's actually behind this box here, which as I said, is a bit of a weird angle uh, to really uh, go into. And obviously the dog doesn't uh, spot him either. So as uh, the chamber uh, teleport gets destroyed, uh, then he peeks out nice swing time and gets the kill. We also get this astral coming in as well. So you know it's a C hit at this point. Um, but again, Sick now is going to make a really sick play because uh, he's going to fake the teleport, actually teleport into the same spot. Obviously, they're looking around for him and he's able to get two more kills. Uh, now, uh, Kanpeki here is going to die to Dicey um, as uh, Dapper, though, is going to be able to get a kill back. So they end up in this nice little situation and then they push through the Astral Wall at the same time. So whilst Poise is able to get one, it's impossible to get the second and a nice round there from Sentinels. And now let's come to the round that ended it all. And you can see here from FaZe, it's just going to be an early A push. They smoke this off. They avoid the, well, most of them avoid both the KO knife and part of the dart. They destroy that as well. So Sentinels probably have an inkling that it might be uh, some pressure towards A. Uh, so you can see with that smoked off, we've got Tens here with his op on short, actually, instead of on long. And uh, you can see that they sky dug through the smoke to check it's all safe. It is safe. And uh, they have these Astro Stars there that are going to push them off as well. So you can see Shazam is kind of, you know, playing further back and he's about to drone as you can see from there they get a smoke in here as well you see tens is just still checking short nothing's there um and here actually their first big mistake is you see a sky flash comes in the jet smoke the jet dash the problem they're gonna have here is that tens is gonna try and make a hero play much like sick did in that round before tens is also gonna make the same mistake here because he's going to pop his knives and he's gonna go dashing into three of them and die and i can't help but think as we see the rest of this round play out that literally will cost them the round, I think, because had Tens just lived there, you know, had he just, you know, continued to sort of push down short, maybe see if anyone was there. If he was able to clear all this out, that's a lot of control that you know now, you know, that they can't be in this area. You've kind of, you know, cordoned them off into this, uh, which is a, a small, small area to have to retake as a whole. So that would have been really good if he could have done that. But instead, he tried to make a hero play. Uh, when, you know, we know that Shazam obviously wasn't there because he was droning as well. Uh, but anyway, they end up, Kampaki actually managed to find a trade as well. So we end up in a 4v4. Uh, but we're going to see something really nice from FaZe. We're going to see good play from both sides here, actually. This is a, a, a good round, I would say, on the whole. Because what's going to happen is they're going to pop the KO ult on the side of Sentinels. You can see it's about to come in now. You can see the suppress goes off there. So they have the KO ult, uh, but actually the Sova has come all the way back here, perhaps expecting that. And so the Sova is actually going to ult down here whilst the chamber is coming to come and peek it. Uh, really nice idea from FaZe, and it works really, really well for them. You see the Sova ult is actually a bit low, uh, but there goes uh, there goes Dicey, and he gets the peek, and he gets the kill. Uh, but now we get the flash from Sick, which is uh, well-timed onto the site, and so that pushes Dicey back, and then Dicey actually ends up uh, getting naded here by the KO. You're about to see it come in there, so he gets pushed off that, and so Sick is able to get that kill as well. Then we get a trade back and forth of one kill each, so Poach is able to get, uh, get the KO in Heaven. So Poach is able to get this kill, but then Sick is able to get the kill in Hell on Baby Bay. So we're still in the 2v2, very winnable for both uh, teams here. But what's going to be really good is you're going to see the Astra and the Sova, they group up here. And I think that that is going to uh, really help FaZe win this round because they're able to get that trade. Then we end in a 1v1 that Superman is able to win. So FaZe end up winning there. But as I said, in this round... 
If Tenz is still alive there near towards the end and it's a 3v2 instead, you know, and he could come from short or long at any point, you know, they probably do end up winning that round. Again, trying to make hero plays just isn't isn't the right choice. Uh, a lot of times in this game, you should just be playing safer than not, is my message to all of you out there. But yes, uh, a very well done to FaZe and Sentinels, obviously... Quite a few things to work on. Obviously, this wasn't like a, a demolition or anything. I don't think, you know, it's time to to really, really panic. But uh, definitely some worrying signs for them, particularly if you, you know, want them to be like the best team potentially in the world.